Moon Bay. This is just a title chart you can get online. You just type where you're going and write tie chart. And it'll give you something roughly like this. Um, right here, this is the, the high tide, um, the highest point of it. Um, this happens, yeah, like I said, um, twice a day, sometimes three. And uh, right here, looking down, this is going to be the low tide. Like I said, too, that um, happens uh, twice a day, some places three, but for the most part, it's twice a day. So now that, yeah, you see where the low tide is, high tide, you can look at the time there. The low tide there is approximately 5.03, high tide there is about 9.56 a.m., uh, yeah, pretty much 10 o'clock. So right here, this is called the, the ebb current. Um, so it's going from high tide to low tide. And then right here, this is called the flood current. That's from low tide to high tide. So flood, it makes sense, you know, higher, it's rising, it's flooding. So just think of high tide, flood tide, uh, flood current. So yeah, those both happen twice a day. Um, next, now that you know what the ebb current and flow current are, flood current, um, yeah, you got a good idea of what the times are. And on the left here, you can't see it, but it's the the height. Um, up there, it's like, on this chart, it's about six. That's about six feet max. So right here, I'm showing you, uh, this is called a, a slack. This is the slack of the tide. So what is the slack? Slack, slack is when the current is at its least. So if you cast something in the water, your fish, uh, your crab snare, or fishing bait, you're not going to have it moving all over. Um, it's it's a small window. Uh, it's only about like, yeah, it's not too long. It's just about 30 minutes an hour. It's not the highest point of tide, but it's it's not a big window, um, especially for this chart too. You can see on the left there, it's it moved from six feet to zero feet in about six hours. So that's a that's about. A, a foot an hour there, which is, that's pretty kind of high. Um, so now I'm going to be moving this, and I want to show you what these are. This is the point, these are the points of the tides when it's like the strongest currents. So I like to think of it um, as like a train, you know. Um, so that's the, the ebb of flow current, that's the highest knots of water flowing to the left one there. And uh, the one on the right, that's the flood current high point there. It's always about before they're done, almost done. So I like to think about it as a train. The train's going, it's going, it's going, it's going as fast as it can. And then it's like right when it occurs, that's like the train station. So then it needs to slow down. So that's how I like to think of it. Um, those are the highest points of current. So you don't want to go crap snaring at those points. It's just going to be moving, and just moving it all around, even if you have eight ounces on it. So definitely don't don't go fishing at those points. Um, you, if you're trying to like have something on the bottom, it's just going to be moving everywhere. So now the ebb, you got the the flood. So those points, don't go crabbing. Um, yep, it's just not worth it. So now that you know the ebb, um, the flood, you know, the slack, and you know the highest points, I want to show you the best times to go crabbing. Um, now that you have a good idea of what, you know, all these, what this means, so you can start putting it into practice. So right now I'm just kind of putting in squares. So you see how it only goes up like a foot, and then it goes a foot down. Um, that's really good, or like two feet. Um, that's really good if you're looking at the, the hours there. So I'm looking at right there, about not even three feet, and that's over like almost a whole day, which that's, you could crab, you could catch a lot of crab during that because you're not gonna have a crazy amount of current. You can throw your bait in there. You're not gonna have it move everywhere, so you're, you'll be good. So three feet for a day, 
That's that's great. I'm gonna be going here on Thursday because it's one of those days. And this is the chart that I used just the other day. So for that um January 6th there. So like all those pictures and stuff, it was from that day, January 6th. You can see from that exchange from high tide to low tide. So that makes a big difference. So what if you're not here to, what about, I don't want to do crabbing, I just want to do fishing. When's the best time to do fishing? Um, right here is the best time to do like fishing if you're fishing for rockfish, especially for the high tide. So once that high tide starts pushing in, what it's doing is it's pushing in lots of food and you got different fish feeding and it's pushing in a new area, which is going to bring in fish from further out in the sea because all these other fish are in here too because the high tide pushed it in. So you have this hour window where it's just super hot fishing. Um, especially like the high tide, when that starts, that is like every charter they know that that's the best, that's the best time to go fishing from low tide to high tide, like that point right there. Um, so basically the slack um, of that point. Um, but yeah, then the, the second time, second best time to go would be then from high tide going down to low tide, which yeah, that's another slack. So there's a good hour window there right when the current starts going down. So I would say that's the second best time to go fishing. Cause yeah, it's just bringing stuff in, mixing stuff up. Uh, yeah, you need some kind of, you need, a, yeah, that little current just bringing in or pushing out and then that kind of will mix stuff up and you'll get really good luck there. Um, so yeah, those two spots, if you're a rock fishing or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I hope that kind of gives you a better idea on when to fish. And... Uh, also, you can use this too to know like waves, you know, like I said, if it's going to be six feet and then zero feet, that's going to be a lot of current exchange. So, you know, the swell is going to be coming in. So you don't want something that has a large exchange like that. So if you have see something that's like a foot of current for every hour, you probably shouldn't go. But if you see something that's like two feet for six hours, Oh, you, you better get out there. So I hope this helps you with fishing, crab fishing, understanding the ocean, the tides. Um, yeah, it's really useful information. Um, I'm new to this, but uh, I spent a lot of time trying to investigate this myself. But uh, it seems like this has helped. So hope it, hope it helps you too. So um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to click like and subscribe.